e dal 2015. Since 2015, we've had the opportunity to use the latest frontier of minimally invasive vitrectomy. The company's made a tremendous technological contribution to further miniaturize the diameters of the vitrectomes and all the accessories that go inside the eye. Vitrectomy is an operation in which three small holes are made inside the sclera, the white part of the eye, to access its inside and perform the most minimally invasive surgical maneuvers possible. It is clear that the smaller the door through which one enters, the greater the recovery speed for the patient and, therefore, the surgical result. Obviously, from 2015 to today, we have moved our vitreoretinal surgery towards complete and total minimally invasive. We do not use diameters greater than 25G, and we practically only use minimally invasive vitrectomy at 27G. The 27G, minimally invasive, has been on the market since 2015. We are in 2021, and in these six years, we have accumulated a great experience of 27G vitrectomy that allows us to perform almost all operations on the retina. Therefore, all vitreoretinal surgeries are performed with a minimally invasive or 27G technique for less complex cases, routine ones, such as epiretinal membranes or vitreous hemorrhages up to retinal detachments. In more complicated cases, such as proliferative diabetic retinopathy, these are performed at 25G. We also perform cataract complications with 25G. Of course, 27G is the greatest miniaturization that exists today and the latest frontier of how much smaller the hole that is made inside the eye can be. All this affects a great functional recovery for the patient, an absent pain in the post-operative period and a visual performance recovered very quickly. We first performed these minimally invasive vitrectomies in 2015 when the machine that could support this technology was presented in Italy. Since then, we have not reversed. We are also looking forward to using the minimally invasive 27G in all surgeries.